Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of Photon program tutorial. Today's video is about reading and writing in files. We perform many mathematical calculations using a Photon code. The important part of the calculation is the data. And we have been displaying output in a terminal, but uh, now we want our output to be stored in a certain file. And that can be done easily using a Photon code. That's what we are going to do in this video. First of all, I will show you one way of writing the output in a file uh, which can be done easily using a terminal and then later I will show you uh, the best, the good way of a photon. So first uh, let me write one simple program. Uh, so I will say program new in program none, okay. and I will suppose it is I do i equals to 1 to 10 uh, let's say 1 to 20 and do okay i have written one simple program to print out i i is from 1 to 20 so it will print out 1 to 20 and the square of 1 to 20 and the cube of 1 to 20 so this is one very simple program first i will show you by running the program i'm oh, sorry so as you can see here we got the output 1 to 20 and the square and the cube so i got three columns output now what we want is we want to write this output in a file we want to save this output in a file so how to do that uh, there is one way of writing and reading the files in a photon but if you are using terminal or you say if you are using linux operating system then uh, there is one command uh, of terminal which helps to do that easily so let me show you that first how to do is we for we have to execute and previously we have entered and we got the value but now we give the greater sign this command and we write the file name let's suppose i want to write in new dot dead file and when we hit enter we will not get any output because that output will be written in the file of new dot dat and this file will be saved in the same directory where we are working so uh, i will show you that directory first okay so this is the directory where we are working right now if you see here there is one file called new.dat and let me open that file and you can see the output is stored in that file okay or you can use the command to read the file you can use cat command which is used to read the file and you just write the file name and we can see new.dat file contains this output so this is one very easy way of uh, writing in the files using a terminal command. Now let me show you how to do that using a photon. So I will say first clear out and I will delete that file and uh, new dot and I will create that file again but using a photon code and uh, let me open that file. Uh, let me open that now we will write we will write this output in a file using a photon code and to do that there is one keyword that is the open we have to use open statement and as soon as you write open you have to write the close so th this open and close statement helps to read or write in the files and uh, there are some arguments you have to remember inside the parenthesis you have to write the unit and you have to give the unique file number let's say i will give two okay you can give any number you want but uh, uh, if you are using many open statement then the unit number should be different in each open statement that is the main thing you have to remember and one more argument you have to pass that is the file name so what file name you are going to create or what file name you are going to read so let me create new dot dot Okay. or uh, there are other arguments as well uh, status formatting but those arguments are not needed okay 
and in the close you have to write the unit number so unit number is 2 now what it does is open statement comes here it opens the file new dot dead and when it comes to this statement it close that file so this way it works now we have to link this unit number with our print statement but print statement cannot do that print statement has one strict sign and that strict sign as we discussed in the previous video it is used for formatting only so instead of print statement you have to use write statement so i will erase that and i will say write and in the write statement there are two strict signs as we discussed earlier also the latter strict sign is used for the formatting and the first strict sign is used for the reading and writing in files so instead of that asterisk sign, first asterisk sign we have to write the unit. For the new dot dat file, the unit is 2. So we have to write 2 here. Now what it does is, it links. New dot dat file is linked to unit number 2. And when we write 2 here, so this write statement will write this output in a new dot dat file. Now let me run. We didn't get any output because we are writing the output in a file and if I do ls command uh, list command and we can see that new dot dat file we created just now or we can use ls a command uh, sorry we can use ls l command long form and we can see our new dot dat file where is new dot okay if you see this line new dot dat file it is created right now 10 2020 and you can see the time year 2021 just one minute ago so this is our file now let me read that new dot that we got the output or we can read going to that directory as well so this is a way of writing and reading the files now let me show you how to read the file okay so now what we will do is you can see here we created new dot dat file which contains three column data now what we are going to do is we will create a program where we will read the data from this file and we will use that data to perform certain calculation and we rewrite our answer in new file so that is going to be most useful so let's write our program now this time i will give another unit number uh, just give unique number and i want to read from the new dot dot new dot dot now instead of write we are going to read okay and what we are going to read in in the new dot dot if you see here new dot dot there are three columns now we want to read only first and second column let's say let's say let's read first and second column and uh, uh, let's create new output by adding the first and second column so that will be our tax and for that i will create um, what i will create is i will create another integer and i will say a uh, for the first column and let's give the dimension 20 because there are exactly 20 or uh, let's say let's create 5 i will extract only a uh, first five row data okay so i will give array array of a5 and b5 okay and now for that i will say read a5 sorry ai and b i and here i will give 5 now if you so first uh, we open the file file is new dot dat you can see the data of new dot dat and what i'm doing here is uh, i'm creating a loop from one to five and i'm reading the first two column a i and b i so this a i will correspond to the first column b i will correspond to the second column okay and uh, since we are creating a loop up to five and we have given array of dimension five it is going to extract only first five rows so uh, i will get output of 1 to 5 and 1 to 25 so that will be read and that will be 
are assigned to the variable a and b now we will store the addition of two numbers in a new file so i will say open and let's give unit number this time uh, 10 okay uh, and let's create new file okay so i will say new one dot that and immediately close it with the unit number unit number is 10 now here what i will do is i will say write and uh, first uh, first asterisk sign is the unit number and second asterisk sign and what uh, i will say is uh, 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 write uh, ai plus bi so that addition we are telling to write and we have to create the loop also one two five and do okay so simple as that okay so what we are doing is we are reading ai and bi from the file new dot that which we created earlier and we are creating another file new one dot that to write the output of ai plus bi so let me run that program so we are getting error here uh, and uh, i found the error error is uh, here we have given unit number five and uh, uh, but here we have given unit number two so let's change that to five and the closing also let's change to five now it will be correct we run the program yeah we got the output now let me use ls command and check out the new file if you can see here new one dot that new file is created let me read that new one dot that and we got 2 6 12 20 and 30 uh, whether that is correct or not let me show you uh, the first file new dot that okay so one plus one two two plus four six so you can see one plus one two two plus four six three plus nine twelve four plus sixteen twenty uh, and five plus twenty five thirty so answer is correct now let me show you one more program uh, uh, this time we will calculate uh, trigonometric function uh, we will use sine a function and we will calculate sine of certain value and we will store the those values in a file so let's create uh, the, we have to use real for the trigonometric function so i will say real and x let's say 100 we are going to create 100 data okay and first let me open open the file and the unit number this time i will give 17 give any number and i will create the file new dot dat and let me close the file 17 now i will create a loop from 1 to 100 because we need 100 values of x and undo and here i will change the xi value uh, using this expression 1 times 0 0.1 so what happens is uh, i goes from 1 to 100 but xi value will be changed to multiply by 0 0.1 so first value will be 1 times 0 0.1 0 0.1 and the last value is 100 so 100 times 0 0.1 is 10 so the value will range from 0 0.1 to 10 okay and we get, we will get 100 value because we are creating a loop of 100 and now let me write let me use write statement and give the unit number in the first asterisk sign instead of first asterisk sign and i will create two column uh, first column will be of xi and second column will be of sine function xi okay this sign is the intrinsic function there are many intrinsic function and this is the trigonometric function sine uh, the intrinsic function will be covered in the next video but for now let's use sine function and uh, 
for the function we have to use the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we have to give the argument and for the sign function we have to give the value okay or in a real format so we created the real and the uh, xi is the value uh, and now let me run that and cross this dot out so let me use the ls command and see the new dot that file yes you can see here new dot that and uh, let me read that new dot that file and you can see all those values so okay uh, first column is of xi and second column of the sign so 0.1 and sign of 0.1 like that if the value goes up to 10 there are 100 data okay up to 9.9 .9, that is obviously 10 and the value comes negative here this way writing and reading of the file works and uh, this much for this video if you have any question write down in the comment section below and in the next video we will cover intrinsic function in a photon